What if you were arrested and you spent a month in jail waiting to see an attorney? And the first time you saw a lawyer was when your case was tried. And what if your public defender never asked the most important witness the most important question? That's the story of Troy Rhodes. In 2003, Mr. Rhodes was convicted and sentenced to 149 years at Louisiana's Angola Penitentiary, the nation's largest maximum security prison. I never bought into the fact that I was going to die there. Being sentenced to all of the years that I was sentenced to, you know, it, they had a lot of uncertainty there. We didn't know how long the road was going to be before I returned home or if I was going to ever get out of prison. Like thousands of other public defenders across the country, Mr. Rhodes' lawyer was overworked and under-resourced. It's just a scary feeling when you know that the odds are against you. A lot of times it'll knock the wind out of some people. After 12 years, a federal judge appointed me to help Mr. Rhodes argue that his public defender was constitutionally ineffective. And I began working with law students on Mr. Rhodes' case. In 2010, my mother passed away and I wasn't able to go to a funeral. And, you know, that, that really devastated me. At the Deason Criminal Justice Reform Center, our expertise is in the right to counsel and public defense. The Sixth Amendment promises that all people have the right to an effective attorney, regardless of their ability to pay. In May of 2018, a federal judge overturned the conviction and released Mr. Rhodes. A higher court affirmed that Mr. Rhodes is entitled to a new trial with an effective attorney. I knew it was, it was bigger than me. I knew that my hands were full with this, but I knew that it was necessary to at least challenge it. Any one of us can be arrested anytime. But under our Constitution, an arrest is not the end of the story. It's just the beginning. If you've been arrested and locked away, the Constitution promises you the right to counsel, to an effective attorney with the time and resources to fight for your rights and to guarantee you a fair trial. There's a lot of men that's incarcerated in an unjust way and I'm probably going to be an advocate for the rest of my life. I'll never forget what they're going through. In June of 2018, Mr. Rhodes began counseling and mentoring those returning to society after incarceration. At the Decent Center, we work with stats and stories. We conduct empirical research into public defense to demonstrate what an effective defense is and how it benefits defendants and their communities. We tell stories, like Troy's, to give meaning to those statistics. That's how we protect the right to counsel. Stats, stories, change.